Shadow Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create a triangular pattern in Photoshop. Now, first thing to do, just going to go over to the rectangle tool. Just over here, rectangle tool. I'm going to use it as a shape. And I'm going to set it with a fill of red. And what I'm going to go over here to the properties, settings, and you can set the fixed size. Now, the document here is 600 by 600. I'm just going to create a square that's 600 by 600 as well and you can just drag that on now and position it at zero zero you can just see the x and y there so i'm just going to drag that up to x and y and drop so now i've just got that design just a standard square now what i can do now is a layer and a duplicate layer click ok just go to over here, we've got that rectangle. What I want next to do is set the, instead of pen tool, I want the delete anchor point tool. And just go over to one of these points and I'm just gonna click that. Now I've got a triangle there and I've obviously got the square beneath it, obviously. Now, what I wanna do, just go over to the rectangle tool again and I'm gonna change the color. I obviously go purple, orange, a whole range of different colors. Orange is quite a nice one. Right. So once you've actually decided on a color, just go to layer and flatten image. So you've got these nice two triangles and what you can do then of course is edit and define pattern. Click okay. Now just go to layer and new fill layer pattern. Click okay and set, I'm gonna set that to say 25 and you can see you've got this nice little triangular sort of pattern obviously with colors one triangle there one triangle there and of course you can set it 10 and so on so on now of course you can actually also add that for so i'm just going to go here the type tool and just type something type resize that slightly now you can hardly see it with that uh, pattern behind it you can of course go to a layer and a layer style and pattern overlay. And I'm just gonna select that pattern as well. And again, you can obviously set the scale for that pattern and get lines in that as well. And I'll just add a drop shadow so you can actually see the actual pattern and type. Right, there you have it. You've got an interesting way of creating, well, interesting triangles. <laughs> Triangles are always great. So hope you found this tutorial of interest.